Now, where is the VC money flowing in this sector? So we, we, uh, we actually, all of our investments are secured loans. Uh, and we take warrants, equity kickers in all of the transactions we do. So we're in playing in the technology sm uh, space in, a, in what we call a smart way. But we, uh, are, we, we approach four uh, technology sectors, uh, information technology, uh, clean technology, life science, meaning drug development and medical device, and healthcare information and services. So there's activity in all of those today. Uh, in the technology sector, we're seeing a lot of uh, SaaS models, uh, software as a service, uh, cloud computing, uh, some interesting new technologies that empower mobile devices, for instance. In the uh, clean tech space, a little bit uh, under uh, having difficult time right now because the solar industry is uh, unsettled, right. but we're uh, still seeing enabling technologies in, in materials, solar, uh, and uh, alternative uh, materials, which are sort of interesting. In the life science, we've always been a big player in the life science space, uh, drug discovery. Medical device is very big right now in diagnostics. Mm -hmm. And then in healthcare information, the service is all about efficient healthcare. So let me ask you, given the current interest rate environment, what does that mean for your business in terms of loan demand and how you're actually making money off the loans? Right. So we, uh, demand in, in our sector is less driven by macroeconomics than it is by sort of development cycles. This is a really good time uh, for new opportunities. And, and we're seeing uh, more than our fair share. We have a very robust pipeline right now. Uh, the interest rates for our uh, loans, our loans are really alternative to equity from additional equity from the venture capitalists. So as, as such, it trades in a range that's a lot less volatile than the uh, interest rate environment. But we're seeing loans today that will uh, pay interest rates from 10 to 14 percent, which is good for us. Let me ask you, for a retail investor who's watching, who is interested in obviously making money and trying to get in on a, a company before it is well known to everyone. So we know IPO is a typical exit strategy, right. and we know that hasn't always worked, especially this year, right? There have been some disappointments, whether right. it's Facebook or BATS. Is there a better way for a retail investor to get into some of these companies, whether it's through angel investing or looking at a company like yours where they're doing a loan approach? Well, that's, that's why we say we think we're, we're a smart way to play in the technology space, because we're very diversified by sector that I described to you. Our average loan is between 5 and $10 million. Um, we have you know, 40 to 50 accounts at any uh, uh, loans outstanding any time, and we take warrants in all of them. We have the warrants in, in these companies even after they've repaid the loan. So today we have close to 60 warrant positions in young companies, and the warrants have a long life. So it's a way to, to get a good solid return from a dividend perspective because we're charging good interest rates and we're getting paid. Uh, but you also might have that nice surprise, and we've had those already.